Hi, I'm Ree from mummyof4.com. Welcome back to my channel and an updated house and garden, haven't done one of those before, tour. It's actually four months since we moved into our new home renovation project. This house was a full start to finish complete renovation. So I will link the playlist for the whole series. You can catch up right from start to finish below if you haven't seen those videos yet. But I'm going to take you around the house and the garden and show you all the bits and pieces that we've changed since the last update video and the last tour. And also I'm going to share with you our plans for our new extension and exactly how that's going to look. If you're new here, welcome. Please subscribe, hit the bell to be notified when I post new videos every Tuesday, Thursday and Sunday at 7 p.m. I do lots of house content as well as organisation, vlogs, haul videos, speed cleans, all that kind of thing. I would love to have you as a subscriber. Now let's go and take a look around our house. Starting in our bedroom, where there have been quite a few changes since our last house tour update. First one being this light fitting, you know, before we had a dangling bulb and then we had some pink paper thing that my husband found lying around the other house. Anyway, that kind of ties things off a lot better. I was sort of wondering, something didn't look quite right before. We had the lighter grey cushions. I mean, initially I had grey bedding, but it was totally the wrong shade and it was kind of too bluey. Then I put it to white and I thought, I still didn't look quite right because I had lighter grey cushions here. Now I bought those from Amazon. I will link those below, the specific ones I got. I'm just much happier that this kind of goes a lot better. It kind of fits with the back of the headboard and these boxes and things. It just, I just feel it works a lot better. So pleased with that. I was also absolutely adamant we needed something on that wall until we put the curtains in. So the curtains, um, are sort of this same dark grey colour really as the cushions and I don't know what it is but now the curtains are in the room just looks a lot more finished and I feel that that wall being plain isn't bugging me as much. Still I kind of won't know if something needs to go there until I've put it up there and it either looks right or it looks wrong. So I either fancied like a big like canvas like a picture or something something kind of pinky tones maybe something flowery or like a shelf with things on it. My husband's not too fussed on that idea. Or is it just better off leaving the wall as it is? It's sort of a featurey wall anyway, because it is, I don't know if you can see, it's quite sparkly, it's silver glittery paper. I'm generally more pleased with this room since the last update. I do still need to get this throw, but the bigger size. And then when we get new sofas downstairs, which will be gray, I want grays and pinks in the living room. This one can go and live in the living room. The bed was kindly gifted by Arista Living and I have got a discount code if you want to grab one of those. This is a king sized Ottoman bed. So if you just lift this up here, you can see that there is a lot of space for storage, which is starting to get like it, it needs kind of an organized. Last time I showed you under here, it's looking a bit more in order. So there's a lot of packing cubes. Under all this stuff, it's quite organized, but there's been some stuff dumped on top. So let me know if you would like to see a getting this organized video. You are gonna have to ignore this ugly monstrosity. If you are living in the UK, you will know that we've recently gone through a heat wave. I think it has passed, but I'm reluctant to put this away just yet until the, uh, we just definitely know it's gone or it's not coming back, more to the point. This is a very old, as you can see from how yellowed it is, like an air conditioning unit. So that pipe has to be stuck out the window. And then we pull that across to over there and it kind of cools the whole house really. It's like a fan cooling, thing it is ugly and noisy so for now it's kind of spoiling the aesthetic of my bedroom but it has been really nice because homes in the UK do not have air conditioning built into them generally because we only have a few weeks of heat and then we have to deal with fans and big things like this or just boiling from the inside out um, this isn't new since my last update, but for people who have not seen any previous updates, this thing is amazing. Someone recommended it to me in the comments of one of my videos. I bought it, I haven't looked back. It's amazing. It's a hair tool organizer. Love, love, love it. 
Dressing table's pretty much the same. Lights are controlled by Alexa. I have had a few requests for like a video explaining how we're using all our Alexa stuff in our home and how we get, a, get it to work and different ideas of what to use with it. Let me know down below if you would fancy that video. But this is one of my new things I've got. I've got a couple of these in different places in the house. It's a wax burner, it's electric, and it's on an Alexa switch. So I can say, Alexa, turn bedroom wax melt off. There you go, and it goes off. So basically it's flameless, it's just a little, I actually got this, it's quite warm now, it's not too hot. It's got a bulb in there, so that's lit by a bulb, so it's pretty safe. You put your wax melt in there, it just makes the room smell amazing. But I feel like with small children that's safer. And I can have these coming on and off on timers or I can turn it on and set it to go off in an hour so I can kind of set it and forget it, which is great. So it makes the room smell, well, we don't have smell of vision but it does make the room smell really, really nice. Let's head into Zaza's room. Now, not a great deal of differences in here other than the lighting, which she's currently got set for blue for some reason. The children, um, have all got this LED lighting around their rooms. Zara and Bella do not like to sleep in pitch black, so they have these on overnight. Again, I've got these hooked up on Alexa, which I'll explain in that video a little bit more if that's what people want to see. They're on timers and things, so um, they are just on in the evenings. I've just put them on now to show you guys. So Zara's built-in wardrobes. We have got built-in wardrobes, which I went into detail all about this in our full renovation series. So if you want to head back and check all that out, uh, then I will include the play playlist below, but none of these wardrobes were here. None of the rooms had built-in wardrobes, and now all five of the bedrooms have built-in wardrobes. Heading into Will's room. For some reason, one of the boxes is missing. He's clearly brought that back down to play with. Main changes in here are he's got the lighting as well. These lights, which I will link below, as you can see, William's got around the edge of his room. You can just change the colour to suit what you want. There's even a disco mode. Where's the disco mode? Is that it? Oh, see? Psychedelic disco mode, which the children really enjoy. Not very relaxing for bed or anything, but... Oh dear, let's turn the flashing off, shall we? Make it stop. Make it stop. He's also got this unit underneath his bed for just a bit more storage. That was just dead space. He actually had a box of blankets just shoved under there because he uses a lot of blankets for making dens and all sorts of various things and it was just a bit messy so that's a little bit neater now so that's just another Ikea unit you barely even notice it's there it's behind the steps so that's kind of nice I will link Will's bed below because I get asked about this so many times it's the perfect height because it's kind of window height so it's not blocking the light but it's utilizing the space underneath which is he loves playing under there. Actually, his sisters love playing under there with him. It's kind of his old den. He plays under there more than he uses his desk, really. I've had loads of requests for links to these lights. So I'll put the link to these below. They were not expensive. Check those out if you fancy jazzing up one of your children's rooms. By the way, these are my chore charts or my task charts that I use for the children. I'll link the frames and the link to getting the ultimate mum bundle which contains all these printables and it's just the bits that my children have to do every day so that I don't have to nag them so when they say can I do this can I do that it's like well have you ticked everything off if you take everything off you can do whatever you're asking me to do so that is a really good way if you don't enjoy nagging your children if you enjoy your nagging your children please go ahead and nag if you do not enjoy nagging your children this helps to reduce having to nag. Into the bathroom, which hasn't changed a great deal since my last tour, but I'll give you a quick scan around for those who are new here. I can't remember if these were in the last tour or not, but they have been a game changer. There's one in the upstairs bathroom and one in the downstairs shower too. You just lift this off to fill up the shampoo, conditioner and body wash, and it means there's no bottles and things clogging up the shower, which just create more dirt and gunk really. I have loved having that, it's been a game changer. It means you can buy soap, shampoos and things in bulk, it's fab. Uh, you may also wonder why there's a random flannel in my bath and it's because I don't let my family put wet washing in with the dry washing. So the dry washing goes in this laundry basket which I actually emptied this morning other than a pair of pants. 
we've got spare toilet rolls in here and dirty washing that is dry. But any dirty washing that is wet either goes in the bath, so if it's a towel, a flannel, anything like that, I don't want it in with the dry washing because if for some reason I don't get to it for a day or two, it'll go really ucky, musty, or potentially even moldy. So damp washing, I just ask them to chuck it in the bath and then I take that downstairs with me whenever I go. I'm not sure, have I showed you in these little cupboards before? We've got toiletries in here, some more spare toilet rolls and toothbrushes and things in here. And then in this cupboard, we've got cleaning products, uh, sort of creams and medication that I don't want the children reaching and all the kind of child's farm children's toiletries. And as we're looking in drawers, let's have a look in here, shall we? So in here we've got various toiletries and things. We've got the toothbrushes. A few people have said, how do you manage storing toothbrushes in your bathroom? Because I was adamant I did not want loads of toothbrushes and things clogging up the sink like we used to have in the last house. And I just bought these, which I will link below. They're basically the ones that you'd have if you were traveling so that the children's toothbrushes can lay flat without contaminating each other. And then in the bottom drawer, I've got cleaning cloths and little cheeky wipes, which are basically little flannels. And the reason I keep cleaning products in the bathroom is because most of my bathroom cleaning happens not when I'm doing a speed clean that I'm filming or anything, but when I'm just in the bathroom, I think, oh, that's a bit gunky, and I wipe it up. So I wipe the sink every day when I'm just in here, as opposed to when I am cleaning, if that makes sense. So if you see something that needs cleaning and you've got cleaning products there, you're far more likely to do it. A little like a pack for you to keep on top of things. Into my Bella's room. Bella is loving her pink. She absolutely loves this fluffy, fluffy thing I bought for her as well. She just is really obsessed with nice textures. So she really loves snuggling in that. This is the same bed that Zara's got. We actually made this one a bit smaller just to fit the room, but that might look short, but I'm five foot four and I can lie in there without having to bend my legs. So it's, it's longer than it looks on video. Inside the wardrobe, at the top rail, I've got the girls matching clothes. I saw them together because they wear matching clothes until they don't want to do that anymore when they are all home from school. And then she's got dressing up clothes, school uniform sorted day by day. So each day has got everything she needs to put on for that day in a little section. And then underneath, we've got the space for more dressing up clothes. So as you can see, we've still got a bit of messy fallout from the heat wave in that Bella's still got a fan left in here. We will put all these away soon at the attic, but chances are we may have another little burst because the weather is always nice the first week the children go back to school, isn't it? And Bella's got her chart in here too. Obviously the printable ones are without my children's names on them. There's space to put your own children's names, but don't forget to grab those. One thing I have added in all of the children's rooms is these hooks behind the door. Definitely added these since my last update. These are command hooks, so they are stuck on, they're damage free, and I've just got one for the dressing gown, one for a little towel, because they put towels on their pillows with their hair slightly damp still after a bath or a shower, and then just a reward chart. They've all got those behind the door to utilize that space and just neaten things up a little bit. Heading downstairs. I was concerned, if you remember, about this glass and how easy it was gonna to be to clean. Now, in all fairness, this bottom section isn't too bad, other than from the other side, even with a step, I can barely reach this side. But I do need to get some sort of extendable something to go behind the glass there, because that needs a bit of a clean. As you can see, I reached up to about here. Need to sort that bit out. So we've got our school bag station, which is ready for when the children start school. Eek, less than a week now. They've just got a box each to put all their bags and things in. Now, I could probably think of a more attractive piece of furniture to put as we enter our home, because this is kind of the front door. But if I'm honest, I would much rather that than a big pile of bags and rubbish. So that's why that is there. Into the downstairs loo. Don't think much has changed in here since our last house tour. Uh, just very quickly, just in case you haven't seen before, we do keep cleaning products in the bathrooms and then toiletries and toothbrushes. This is the toothbrush 
morning station. The children use this little basket of stuff to do their teeth in the mornings just to save having to traipse back upstairs again to do their teeth. It's just one less thing to worry about in the morning. So if you have a downstairs bathroom or even a kitchen sink, it is worth tucking a little pot of toothbrushes and things away under the sink, out of the way, pulling those out in the morning to save having to go back upstairs. Oh, and down here, just keep bath towels, hand towels, and spare toilet rolls. Into my teenager's room, where there have been a few changes, but also some bits that still need doing in here. So he's had his big poster thing put up on the wall and the lightsaber thingy, which I, look, I think that looks kind of cool. Um, he also does want, he's been toying with the idea of having his guitar on the wall, but wondering if he's gonna end up kind of scratching it, taking it on off the wall, or if it's better on a stand. So any guitar people around, if it's not like a decorative guitar, if it's sort of a, a usable guitar, is it better to keep it on a stand or on like a hook on the wall? And then we have got this, this little unit um, is new behind the door. And that's literally for, I've talked about this before, he was keeping stuff on a chair. Now we all have a chair that we dump stuff on in our bedrooms. We've all been there. Try and allocate one place in each bedroom that is the chair. And basically, this is the box. My husband has a drawer, I have a box in my room. And it's just the place where you put the stuff that is too dirty to go in the wardrobe, but too clean to go in the wash. And it goes in there. So that is the chair box. And it's the stuff that otherwise he would dump there. And it was constantly, and bear in mind, his bedroom is downstairs, so it's by our front door. Not that we have visitors at the moment because we're not allowed people in the house in Wales because of, you know, the law, because of COVID, but never mind. Anyway, he was dumping all his stuff on the chair. Now it goes in there. If you can allocate someone like that in your home, you will have a tidier room. Uh, so I think this was all there before. I still need to find him a light. I still need wardrobe doors to cover all of this. And I think I just want them to sort of look like a wall. We could have them mirrored, like we've got upstairs, but I just don't know what I want yet. This all sort of needs organizing as well. Um, so the, there's plenty of space for like his stuff, but also some of this stuff is our stuff that we don't use as much. So actually I should really swap this round thinking about it. He's more likely to use that side. So really what I think I will do is swap his stuff over to that side because it's a bit easier to access and behind there and the kind of winter coats and my husband's suits and things will go the other side. That would make a lot more sense. Don't know, I haven't done that before. Right, out into the hall again. Uh, we have got pictures and things up. I do think maybe we'd be better off putting a big mirror there. So that was just bunged up because my husband brought it over from the old house. But I do think maybe, because there's not, if you notice, really any windows in here. There's a bit of light coming from there. That used to be a door, if you remember. So we've got light coming from in here and a bit from there, but maybe a mirror would work there. Our under the stairs area is still a work in progress. This kind of needs boxing in still. And we have now got, I guess I got a label maker since my last house door. Um, so this is a, just, a, each one of these is a box of shoes each. So that works okay but it still looks a bit scruffy. So whether we have doors, I don't know. I still don't know exactly what I want with this. We need the coat hooks. So if someone said about having drawers, I wouldn't want drawers all the way up because I do want the coat storage. But maybe we could have sort of built-in drawers for this section and this more of a, I don't know. Not exactly sure what I want, but we couldn't have drawers all the way up because again, we've got to have somewhere to put the vacuum cleaner. So, oh, and welly bags, welly bags. I have got, um, these are my wellies. I've always had a welly bag for those. And this is the children's like wet weather gear and wellies and things. We've also got this tray, which um, when we're coming back from school or walks and things, I actually put that by the front door over there to put wellies on as soon as we step in through the door so they don't get all muddy and traipsed through the house. That's quite handy. All right, let's head into the laundry and my office. Um, we will head out to the garden after this as well to take a little look. So this area hasn't changed massively. Can't remember if we have that below before. Not sure, can't remember. But basically, we did have one box each going all down there. 
um because obviously there are six of us but now the top one is detergents and things so that's all my washing gummins yes i have labeled which box is for who and then down the bottom is wet to dirty washing so that's just uh wet flannels damp towels anything that i don't want to be put in with the other laundry and then we've got so these are like clean things <laughs> didn't explain that very well did they these boxes are for the clean things that come out of the dryer this is where i'm hanging the wet washing which I, you've seen that before but these i showed you these in my wardrobe organization thing so these keep things separated out nicely so they're not too squished together so a bit of air for drying but then when i want to carry stuff upstairs to put it away i can just do that how cool is that makes life so much easier and you can just use those inside wardrobes for like normal storage and things if you're a bit limited on space over here i have got my new sign now i have got a few of these signs available if you would like to download them i will link all those below i've got alexa do the laundry hey siri do the laundry and uh, okay google do the laundry because don't we just wish that they would and i've also got a few other anyway have a look on there there's a few other different printables that you can use and i will also link these frames which i use all over the house too so i ordered a uh, a table that i was going to use as a shelf from ikea but it didn't arrive with my order so it's being delivered next week i think so that's just going to separate out just give me a bit like another level of storage really so at the moment i've got things this is dirty washing that is not wet dirty washing so these are clean that's wet and dirty these are dry and dirty so these are separated out into loads ready to go i think we've seen my laundry stacker before that's handy because i can put the basket onto here to empty the dryer and things and my dryer fluff bin since i got my label maker has now been labeled dryer fluff not that anyone uses it other than me but still oh the other little slight difference i've got is this for my Vileda 1-2 spray thing, I've got this, which is a stick-on command hook thingy, which is kind of cool because it uh, keeps the your mops or whatever secured out of the way because that was just falling all over the place all the time and driving me nuts. So quite pleased with that. I was able to stick it up myself. Into my office, which I've changed around several times since I last did a house tour. And that's because the desk used to face this way. So the background of my Zoom meetings was this wall with the boiler on it. And I know what you're gonna say, just use a Zoom background. But when I do client calls and I help people out with social media and things, I'm often demonstrating something, maybe on my phone and my hands and my phone and things were disappearing into the background. So the backgrounds weren't working. So I just wanted a plain background for when I'm doing Zoom meetings, so that worked there. I have also, if you saw my Instagram stories, I've changed this around so many times, I had that as the background, but then we didn't have as much floor space. I have moved one of the tables out because we're not doing full on homeschool anymore, so sometimes the children are in here with me, but not as much. I've still got this unit, which has still got their folders and things in it and lots of their homeschool work because they are going back to school and I really hope that they just stay in school and I don't have to be their teacher again but we never know at the moment what's going to end up happening. So I've kind of not got rid of that stuff yet. And I can't get rid of this unit, partly because I need somewhere to put the printer. I mean, I could get a shelf for that, but partly because this unit covers all the Wi-Fi gubbins back there. So I do like my office at the moment. I do feel it's a really functional space for me. It's got lots of storage place in this Calyx, which is basically a room divider between the laundry and my office. And it's just, it's, could do with I still don't feel like it's a hundred percent there because there's obviously bits that need doing but I do like it as a space so through into the lounge which yeah this is where I think we need the mirror and then what I want to do is put a big like picture display maybe black and white pictures up here but I can't do that yet because I need to buy a new sofa or several sofas I think I want one along here one along here and one along here but we can't do that until that's gone into the extension and that can't go into the extension until the extension is built which i will talk you through in a second so this room is probably the least finished of all the rooms in the house because things are on hold so i can't decorate that wall until i know how big the sofa is because until i know where the sofa is i feel like i can't do that bit 
and obviously this is here it's in the way at the moment so this is kind of cramped well not too cramped but it's not as it's going to be it's kind of a, a botched over fix it for now kind of room which will be addressed after the extension when we've ordered the sofas and these curtains are new since I last filmed a house update too. Got these from Dunelm, mostly because this it gets very, very bright. And sometimes it's just while we are sitting, while our dining table is here, it's just too bright. We have to pull them across because the children are complaining there's sun in their eyes. But quite pleased with those curtains. They kind of serve a purpose. It was a bit hit or miss because I ordered them click and collect, but I think they work. Let's go into the kitchen and then explain about the extension. So not a great deal has changed in the kitchen since my last update. I have got a full kitchen tour where I show you inside all the cupboards and things. So I shall link that below if you fancy seeing that. I have added some hooks underneath my organization station for my tea towel and oven gloves because they were just on kind of hung over the oven. Um, and while I'm cooking, I'd still probably put them there, but I think it is nice to put them out of the way. New to the kitchen are these stools. Now I know what you're thinking. You can't sit on those stools because there is no space. Now I'm gonna show you the stools and I'm going to explain how we're gonna make this work. So I bought these, quite pleased with them. We at the moment have to pull them out to sit on them, obviously, because no one's that skinny. But eventually we will be able to use this overhang breakfast bar thing on the center island because this is being knocked through. I'm hoping it's quite soon, but I don't know an exact date when this is gonna start. There are several factors that are kind of holding us up, which I will get into in future videos. But basically, can you see these white lines? So this solid white line will be one edge and the extension is planning to be all glass walls or doors. So it's gonna be a flat roof with spots in the roof, like in the ceiling going down, and then LED lighting around the edge as well. So there's gonna be like daylight intense lighting for, you know, when it's four o'clock and we're just gonna eat dinner out there because our dining table, which is currently over there, is gonna go out there. So we're gonna have bright lighting for when we're eating and things, you know, early evening before the children go to bed. And then we're gonna have off center kind of evening lighting. Cause I really hate really harsh lighting in the evenings. I think it sort of interrupts your sleep and things. So I like having sort of winding down lighting. So we're gonna have the op two options of lighting for out there. So anyway, the white line solid line is gonna be the edge. The inner of the two lines is gonna be where the glass is if that makes sense, like the glass wall. So I guess it's gonna be like a conservatory. It's gonna basically be a big glass box on the, the side of the house, which will be our dining area. And then the outer line will be like an overhang, like not a porch going around the edge, but that kind of thing, apparently, according to my husband who is kind of designing it. So that's the plan that he's marked out for us. I always find when things are marked out on the floor like that, they look kind of tiny. And even when you kind of put the footings in, they look really tiny until you actually build it. So stay tuned, make sure to subscribe for updates because we will be doing this whole extension. I shall be vlogging all of that. Now, when this wall is gone, obviously this one here, when that wall is gone, there is going to be space to sit behind here, but also this whole thing needs to be nudged over so I guess this whole thing needs to be nudged over as far as this wall so that we can actually sit behind the breakfast bar. So that is the plan for the kitchen and for the extension. Now let's go and take a little look outside in the garden, shall we? Because a lot of people have been asking for a bit of a look around the garden and I haven't done it yet some flip flops on we can go outside not sure how windy it is or whether you'll be able to hear me so from out here you can see a little better where the extension is going to be over here we've got all the garden furniture piled up there is a reason for this it's because the weather has been so bonkers windy that it was just blowing all over the garden so it's all been stacked there in an attempt to kind of stop it blowing everywhere. This is the children's playhouse that my husband 
Well, we had a playhouse. It's the same playhouse that was from the old house, but it stopped here and it was this green colour, which you can see in here. Um, so what he did was extend it. He doubled the size of it and it had like, just it was all open underneath. So the slide and the original up to that pillar there with the original, that was the original playhouse. So he's doubled the size of it so that they've got more space to play inside. And he's created this little cupboardy thing underneath to store all their kind of dolly prams and garden toys and just little bits and pieces that, whoop, that we don't especially want to get wet. And then we've got just a little bit of bunting round the edge and these fake flowers are from Ikea. I bought these. I think I showed these on stories on Instagram recently. Um, and then this little basket is from Amazon. He's just tacked that on. I think he's put some holes in the bottom. He has, he drilled some holes in the bottom so that it drains if it rains. But I just think that sort of pretties it up a little bit. Moving across here, my husband has made this chalkboard for the children to play on. We've got a bit more bunting. Now when we bought the house, this was quite different. None of this fencing was here. There was just a lot of bushes and trees and things and a big rock. He's pulled all that up and sorted all that out. And he's also built this shed, which you will see that I take some of my Instagram pictures against because it's quite a nice little backdrop, isn't it? So the garden will be, this is what will be our extension. So I'm standing now with my back to the kitchen and all this will be I guess the table will be here and all this will be glass walls. Thank you so much for watching. If you've liked this video, please give it a huge thumbs up. Do not forget to subscribe. Hit that bell to be notified when I post new videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday at 7 p.m. My latest video is just across here. And another video I think you may enjoy from my channel is just down here. See you guys soon. Bye.